Hey guys, it's Adri. So today I'm gonna to be doing something a little different. Instead of a hair tutorial, I'm going to be doing an eyebrow dyeing tutorial. I've been dyeing my eyebrows for years and I usually just use the Just For Men beard dye kit and this works awesome. Like I have no qualms against this. I just saw that Ardell has this brow tin. It says it has 12 applications, coverage grays, it lasts two weeks. So I just wanted to give it a try and see how it was. It does seem to be a little more complicated just right off the bat. I'm gonna say that this one has two tubes, the color and the developer, and then you have like a tray. The brow tint by Ardell is like a powder with a developer. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, tell you what I think. Don't forget to subscribe for any of my future hair tutorials or just like whatever I do. Let's get started. Okay, so it says to wash your brows with soap and water. So I just put a tiny bit of soap on my brows specifically because I don't wanna take all of my other skincare product off that I already put on. Squeeze a pea-sized amount into the tray of the conditioning developer. Okay, I'd say that's a pea-sized amount. Two to three scoops of tint into the developer and use the spatula to thoroughly mix the tint until it's smooth and clean. Here's the color. Um, it's the tinting powder, and it does come with this tiny, teeny, tiny little scoop. First impressions, this is incredibly messy. <laughs> So now I'm going to use the spatula to go ahead and mix it. This is what it looks like, like chocolate pudding. I'm going to go get Q-tips. They give you a spoolie to use. Um, I usually use like a, a small angle brush like this. This is not going to go well. But I followed the directions. I don't have a mirror on hand. First impressions, this. The Ardell one is a lot more difficult to apply, to mix, just in general, than this one. Obviously, this is specifically for men's beards, and this one's specifically for your brows. I just really didn't like how messy that was and how difficult it was to apply. I do love the spoolie, though. I've never applied this stuff with a spoolie, and I feel like doing both a spoolie and an angled brush is a really great way to go because then you can line out your brows, but you can also get every individual hair. So now we set a timer for 10 minutes and wait, and then we wash it off. Okay, while I'm letting my brows develop, I think now's a good time to say hey and just let you know where I've been, what's going on with me. It's been a couple of years since I've posted I'm trying to figure out where to start. I've moved a couple times since the last time I posted. I've lived in Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, and California. And now we're in Minnesota for a temporary um, like job opportunity. I have two kiddos now. My oldest, his name is Soli. He is so freaking fun and so cute and has always been so intense. <laughs> and then I just had a baby three and a half months ago and his name is Cooper. We are just smitten by him. We love him to death. I don't do my hair very much anymore. I used to do all these like fun, cool hairstyles, but after having kids, I'm like, I don't have time for that. Which more do we have? And why does this one look more black than this one? Okay, my timer just went off. This one is definitely darker than this side. So I'm wondering if I got more of like the brow powder product on the side. Like I said, it didn't mix very easily. You're supposed to take it off with a wet rag. So I just got a little cotton rag. I can't decide if that even looks any different. Okay, so here are my thoughts. It did do something. The brows are colored and they're actually beautifully colored. I really like how natural they look. But on my other one, the reason I do the brush is to get it on the skin too, to kind of dye my skin so that for a couple days, it's just, I don't know, I don't have to do brow makeup at all. Like it just is filled in. This did not dye my skin at all. Well, I really like it, but I'm not like in love with this product for the amount of work and mess that went into it. And maybe that was just me, but it was definitely more messy than my other brow, well, fake brow product. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I think I might return it. I don't, I'm not in love with it. If you've tried it, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for hanging.